In this video, we're going to compare Flutter versus React Native in terms of performance. Performance is a critical aspect when comparing Flutter and React Native. And both frameworks have their strengths and trade-offs. It's important to note that performance can be influenced by various factors, including complexity of the app, the skills of the developers, and the specific use cases. In this video, we will focus on comparing the framework itself rather than external factors such as project complexity or developer skills. So firstly, language and compilation. Flutter uses Dart as its programming language. Flutter applications are compiled directly to native ARM code for better performance. On the other hand, React Native utilizes JavaScript and relies on a JavaScript bridge to communicate with native modules. While just-in-time compilation is possible for development, production release can use a head of time compilation for better performance. Next, UI rendering. Flutter employs a custom rendering engine that allows for consistent 60 frames per second performance. The framework controls the entire rendering process, resulting in smooth animations and transitions. On the other hand, React Native uses native components and relies on a bridge to communicate between JavaScript and native code. While this approach can lead to slightly low performance compared to Flutter in certain scenarios. However, React Native has made significant improvements on UI rendering over time. Next, native components. Flutter compiles to native code directly, and its UI components are implemented using Skia graphic engine and recently has changed to Impeller. This can result in a more consistent look and feel across different platforms. While React Native utilizes native components for UI rendering, which can be advantageous as it leverages the native platform capabilities. However, it may also introduce some performance overhead due to the communication bridge. Next, Hot Reload. Flutter offers Hot Reload feature, allow developers to quickly see the changes they make during development without restarting or rebuilding the entire application. On the other hand, React Native actually also provides a Hot Reload feature enabling developers to see instant updates during development. This hot reload feature in React Native was added recently. Lastly, development experience. Flutter provides a rich set of customizable widgets and a reactive programming model, resulting in a smooth development experience. On the other hand, React Native utilizes React, which is a widely adopted and well-known for its declarative approach to building UIs. In summary, both Flutter and React Native can deliver good performance, and the choice between them should consider the external factors such as developer expertise, project requirements, and specific use cases. Both frameworks have been used successfully in production for various apps, including those with high performance demand. It's recommended to evaluate each framework based on your project needs and constraint instead of the framework itself. So this is the comparison between Flutter and React Native in terms of performance. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.